This is a video on how to capture and use a replacement model in DriveWorks Solo. Replacement models provide an easy way to specify models which can replace the assembly or part against which they are registered. For example, if you have a variety of different feet for a table leg, you could add each one as a replacement model of the foot that is already in the table leg assembly, and then use rules to choose which one of them to use. In this video, I will use the cupboard demo, and I will capture some replacement models to replace the cupboard door handles. Once you're in SolidWorks, make sure that you have a project open in DriveWorks Solo. Open up the single SolidWorks part which you would like to add replacement models against. When the part has opened up within DriveWorks Solo, click on the Replacement Models section header. For this example, you'll see that the models have already been captured. More can be captured by clicking on the Browse button when in the Replacement Models section header. Click Refresh and Save, then open up the Project Designer. Go to the Form Designer task heading, and under the Style section form, you will see that the form controls that are associated with the replacement models have been pre-created. Click on the combo box form control called Handles, and click the Rules Builder button under the Properties list. Here you will see that the handle types has been entered with a pipe bar separating each of them, with the whole rule within speech marks. The picture box contains a rule which locates the file path of the desired picture with the value of the form control handles populating it to insert the necessary picture. You can click on the test button to test these form controls. Now go down to the model rules task heading and click on refresh to bring in any new captured information. Go down and put a check in the box next to the bedroom knob oak part and double click on the file name. This is where the rules will be created to swap the replacement models over. Here you can see I have used two nested if statements which read, if the value chosen from your handles return form control is round oak, then use bedroom knob oak. If the value chosen from your handles return form control is D style, then use D handle chrome small. Otherwise use shaker knob large steel. Make sure you use the appropriate number of brackets at the end of the rule. In this case, two, as I use two if statements. You can also have a look under the values tab in the help and diagnostics area to check the correct value is being driven. Then click OK to accept the rule. You can now close the project designer down. Click refresh and save on the command bar in DriveWorks Solo. Start a new specification. Fill in the forms and once you get to the handle type form controls, select one and then preview it by clicking on the preview button. Change the handle type and preview again a couple of times to see them being swapped in and out and your models being driven correctly. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Solo, or visit the online help file, which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.